Images of October 1st, 1960, when Nigeria successfully gained its independence from the British government. From military administrations to full democracy in 1999, till date, the task of nation building has been plagued with rising concerns of insecurity and terrorism, with thousands of deaths to show for it. Today, the nation marks a low-key independence anniversary. And with this song, the First Lady, Senator Oluremi Tinubu, reiterates the message of hope for a new Nigeria, which is in line with the President's renewed hope agenda. These words remind us that hope is not just a phrase but a spirit that resides in each and every one of us. In times like this, all we have to do is to keep our hope alive, the lively hope which Jesus Christ has birthed in us. My prayer for Nigeria is that Nigeria will rise as the phoenix that she is out of the ashes of despair and despondency in Jesus' name. As the former president said about President Tinubu, when he was then candidate, he did it in Lagos. And he believed that very strongly too that he would do it, he would do it across the country. He would do it across the country. The wife of the president, alongside the secretary to the government of the federation, Senator George Akume, say boosting Nigeria's economy is a priority of the administration. We are not here to put blame on any administration but to fix what is damaged. My husband is not a magician. He's going to walk brick by brick and I believe and I hope that you will have faith in this administration. Despite the hard knocks, the fuel subsidy removal has dealt on Nigerians over the last four months. Former ministers and political office holders at this church service say Nigeria remains a country full of potentials. This has been the best so far as far as women gender is concerned. Away from church services and Jumat services as Nigeria marks its 63rd independence anniversary, Nigerians are hoping for quick solutions to the problems of, of insecurity, unemployment, education and of course revamping the moribund health system. From the Ecumenical Center right here in Abuja, Mary Chinda Horizon.